So it's that time of the year again, but instead of going to Taiwan to attend Computex, this year Computex comes to us. So today we have something new from NVIDIA, which is just freshly announced by the time you watch this video. So here we have one of the newly announced graphics card from NVIDIA, which is the 3080 Ti. And as the rumors suggest, well, the 3080 Ti is real, which is right here in front of you. So as usual, the 3080 Ti will come in the Founders Edition and also the other variation from the partners depending on their custom design or coolers. And today we have the RTX 3080 Ti Supreme X from MSI. So we didn't get the Founders Edition this time, but this is probably one of the biggest cut I've ever seen because judging from the size itself, it's almost as big as the 1390 Founders Edition. But let's take a look at the card first. So starting from the packaging, we can see that the Supreme X is technically the top of the end offering from MSI you know, graphics card lineup. So inside the box, what do you get? Of course, you get the card itself, a mouse pad, and of course, another graphics card holder because of the size is pretty much justifiable for you to have at least one graphics card holder because without any graphics card holder, this thing is going to sag if you're not going to use any well, vertical bracket like some of the premium case that offers for you know, those enthusiasts who wants to get the best look out of the system. From the side, you can pretty much tell that it's a triple slot card despite of having just a dual slot bracket. And the length itself, well, to an ITX motherboard, this thing will become the motherboard instead of that motherboard. So judging by the aesthetics itself, it's not hard to tell that this is seriously one of the best looking cards you can find in the market right now. So for the cooler of this card, you can see that MSI equipped this card with a triple fan cooler that has a very thick heatsink. So that will give you plenty of cooling performance compared to you know any of the founders edition card we've seen so far though i did notice something that is different than some of the rtx 30 series card we've seen in the past which is the back because all the while we can see that most of the brand will include a cutout and the rear end of the card so that it can help to like dissipate the heat easier by pushing the heat from the heatsink to the top part of your case which is then exhausted by the rear exhaust fan and for the 3080 ti supreme x right here that's not exactly the case so what i can think of now is that the heatsink is so thick and it provides enough cooling performance so you don't really have to go with that kind of solution as for the power supply requirement, well, you can see that there's a total of three PCIe 8 pins power connector right here, which means that you will need well, at least an 850 watt power supply in order to accommodate this card because it's definitely going to draw a lot of power as compared to you know, your typical 3070 or 3080. And yeah, so that's pretty much for the design of the card and let's dive into the performance. So just so you know that we actually compared this card, the 3080 Ti, against a 3080 and a 3090 just to see what kind of performance we can expect from this card. Since 1080p gaming performance is pretty much a piece of cake for all the three cards because they're all, you know, Bs in terms of performance, we will just go through a little bit on 1080p. For all the three cards, 3080, 3080 Ti and 3090, 1080p performance is pretty much identical, so I don't really see any point of you getting this card and play games at just 1080p. So the only reasonable resolution for all these three cards will be at least 1440p, 4K or perhaps 8K if you can actually afford an 8K display. But that aside, for the 1440p performance, 
we will still see very similar performance for most games but there are games that actually show out that the 3080 Ti and 3090 will outperform the 3080. For older titles like perhaps Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the older Metro Exodus, these are the games that you won't really see that much of a difference between the 3080 Ti, 3080 and the 3090. For newer titles like, you know, Watch Dogs, Legion, Cyberpunk 2077, or perhaps the newer revision of Metro Exodus, Enhanced Edition, these games will actually show you the difference between at least 3080 and the 3080 Ti. And as we scale up the resolution to 4K finally, it can really tell you that the 3080 Ti is basically 3090 in disguise. Well, not to say in disguise because they have similar performance but it has half of the VRAM that the 3090 has. So with 12 gigs of VRAM, I can say it's pretty much sufficient for most of the games in 4K. But of course, the biggest gap between the 3080 Ti and the 3090 is when you go for 8K gaming. Well, not all games will actually use up that much of VRAM, but there are games that we've tested in the past with the 3090 shows that there are actually games that will go up to perhaps 20 gigs worth of VRAM. So this is when the 3090 shines because the 3080 Ti only comes with 12 gigs of VRAM and it will not be able to accommodate that much of the requirements from the game itself. Now for the thermals. As we don't have a 3080 Ti Founders Edition, we don't really know how the card is going to perform under load. But for the 3080 Ti Supreme X, right here I can say that the thermals is awesome. Because even during full load, the max temperature we get from this card is only at 70. Well, that's at ambient temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty impressive for you know, a card of this size especially when it's drawing at 350 watt during load. That's quite a lot of power right there. And being able to cool down the card on load at only 70 degrees Celsius, I'll say that's a pretty nice feature from MSI. So now, what's the conclusion did we get from this review? Well, I can say that the 3080 Ti is pretty much a 3090 with lesser VRAM. So, you know, 3090 users might not be happy with the outcome of what they've seen right now, but for those who are looking for 3090 performance, but, you know, paying lesser price, might be happy with it, given that they can afford it, and lucky enough to find one around them. Now, when I say cheaper, well, we don't have the official price for this card right here at the time this video is filmed, but our editor will throw in the price somewhere around here when it's finally available. But I can tell you that since its position under the 3090, it's definitely going to be cheaper than the 3090 for sure. So that sums up our review for the RTX 3080 Ti Supreme X. What do you think of Nvidia's decision of releasing this? 3080 Ti. Do let us know in the comment below and stay home, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video.